Hi everyone, welcome to Beach Music and me ranking the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movies. Well, I, I don't know why I wanted to say video games, but movies, because we love rankings and I plan to do a bunch of rankings because I'm bored with whatever the fuck I do on YouTube and I just want to make content. So here I am, making a tier list or whatever the fuck this is, a ranking of Pirates of the Caribbean movies because I recently watched them all. I just want an excuse to talk about them, okay? Of course, I cannot show any footage for Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, you will have to watch the movies themselves. Anyway, I don't actually have in my head what the ranking is. I kind of do, but not really. Let us start off with number 5. Why do we not start off with number 5, right? I think you all know which one, which movie will be on number 5 because we all know. They really messed up the last movie. Dead Men Tell No Tales. That's the last movie, the latest one and it's bad. It's horrendous, I must say. I had high hopes for it. I was like, I'm gonna go into it with an open mind, and the open mind kinda disappointed me. I'm not gonna lie, that open mind disappointed me. And I must say, like, there were so many things that I felt like were wrong with it. Like, Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow wasn't really, like, the way he used to be in the other movies. What I did like about the movie was that the ending. The ending of the movie was really like a good ending point, like it gave like the trilogy that came like a little bit way before that, it gave it closure, a good ending, it gave it good closure. I like that, I like that part, but some other parts I really didn't like. Um, I must say that the main villain in the movie, Salazar, I think yeah, that was uh, Salazar, right? Yeah. He was not that interesting. I must say, he was not that interesting as a character. Really, he wasn't. He just wanted vengeance and that was it. There was nothing else surrounding him. Eh, it was just an M movie. The only good thing about it was the music. And maybe some comedy moments. Like the start of the movie. That was pretty good too. Anyway, we're gonna go to number 4. Which obviously, once again, is my own fucking opinion. Um, I think it's going to be on Stranger Tides. Um, I like, don't get me wrong, I really liked the movie. I really did. It's way better than Dead Man, uh, Dead Man Tell No Tales. It's way better than that, but in my honest opinion, I think it was just missing a lot of just pirating. It was missing a lot of boats. <laughs> There wasn't really a lot of like boat stuff going on and I really missed that. When I watch like any movie or any series that has to do with being on the sea and having boats, I like to watch boats because I somehow I'm a sucker for boats. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it's only in number four because like a while it's still a pretty good movie with great premise. It still had some missing things. The best. I think Blackbeard was amazing. I think Blackbeard was a really cool antagonist. And he was really like epic and just was like wow. I think it was a really solid movie with solid cast and solid acting. Now, for the... In my opinion, I see this as a trilogy. The first three movies are just like the base trilogy. The best. The peak of peak Pirates of the Caribbean. So I'll have to put the second movie, That's Man Chest, on third. Yep, that's my third one. That's my third pick. Because I felt like it had a lot of cool moments. It really did. And it really went on from the first movie perfectly. But also, I just felt like it was just a good the movie was all of it was a setup for like the third movie world's end i think at world's end what? something like that it was somewhere there and i think that was a great setup and i think everything about it was cool but yeah it was just the in between you know it was a really cool movie it was a really good movie but and I, especially like 
the moment you see Davy Jones and everything else, you get introduced to them, it's amazing. But like I said, it's just more or less like a setup movie for the third one, other than actually having like eh, that special ending, you know. So yeah, now I'm staring at the camera because I do not know what else to talk about it in this movie. Fucking loved every single bit of it. I loved every single bit of it, these movies as well. They are amazing. The trilogy is amazing. You should watch them. Now on my second place on the list. I don't know how well I will edit this, uh, by the way. Um, now on my second place on the list, I will put the first movie. Yep. And then you also know the third movie. The third movie will be the number one. Why do I like the second movie a lot? I mean, why do I like the f <laughs> why do I like the first movie a lot? It's because it sets it's cool as a concept. It didn't have even have to be the trilogy, you know. It really didn't have to be in the trilogy itself, but it was cool. It was a really, honest to God, cool movie. A great first startup to introduce the characters. Will Turner, Elizabeth Swan, and Captain Jack Sparrow, and obviously Hector Barbosa, because I'll fucking love Hector Barbosa. He's one of my favorite characters in the whole franchise. And also, I think the movie in itself is like a whole comedy thing, a little bit creepy at times, but not that creepy. But it's like it has that piratey vibe. It has that everything about it, and it's goddamn amazing. It's definitely like a really great starter movie. It could have been a standalone movie, but obviously it did well and they made a second and a third movie and they were also great in the fourth and the fifth. <laughs> yeah, and then about the first movie, I though out like at World's End or just, you know, the first movie, <laughs> but the third movie, my head is going slow my uh, my brain is going in slow mode I don't know why so anyway while being in slow mode I want to talk about this last movie everything about it was perfect the ending was bittersweet I'm not gonna lie it was bittersweet but I'm uh, happy that we had a fifth movie because uh, that made it a little bit better but you know the ending was bittersweet I kind of liked it kind of didn't like it that battle at sea, like the Maelstorm or the Milestorm, it was the most epic thing to ever watch in a movie, in my opinion. And honestly, that's probably the only reason why it's on the number one spot. Also for Pirates of the Caribbean, the music is fucking great in every single movie. So, uh... If you never have watched, well, if you have never watched the movie, just listen to the music. It's amazing. Do it. Do now. Yeah. Now, so that was my ranking. I am so scuffed at ranking shits. Um, I just decided I'll just take a camera, do this, and yeah. Wow, I'm a scuffed YouTuber. But anyway, that's kind of charm of it, right? Mhm. Mm anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Whenever I make a video, I don't know. I just do random shit sometimes. Anyway, goodbye. See you. Bye-bye.